Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Theta and T Fuel. Theta right now down 4.43% during a market up of 0.24, and that's specifically because of Dogecoin and Shinu Unu. So we're seeing meme coins continue to do well uh, during this really downturn for the market. And I think realistically, we're going to continue to see that during this accumulation phase. A lot of people trying to gamble and get in on these meme coins as soon as possible. We see Theta T Fuel itself being at a 7.95 percent decrease if we take a look at the theta t fuel in the last month though we are still seeing a 55.94 percent increase so a lot of people still making some great profits if we take a look at theta itself we actually see it's pretty much even in the last month you know we had a 673 price point a month ago um, and it's you know, done fairly big things, but it just came right back down from that 1047 price point that we saw June 3rd at 8 p.m. and went right back down to 673. We have had, you know, a great opportunities within this last month to buy at such low price points. Here we actually saw Theta at 542, and we saw great opportunities around this five to six dollar price point, and we're continuing to see that just, you know, five or six days away from that main net 3.0. Uh, we do want to take a quick look at the you know first thing that comes to mind is really that theta drop. So only one hour left till the WPT drop number five goes live, and this actually went live um, you know just a couple of uh, hours ago. Obviously, you know it's been about probably 12 hours by now, but you know it's it's crazy to see that the theta drop did go live. It you know continues to have success. A lot of people on the site as it drops, and a lot of people excited about the possibility of getting something rare. Uh, you know there's a lot of reasons as to why people are investing in theta, and it's not just because of the Theta network. It's because obviously the Theta drop, uh, you know, Theta.tv having some big partnerships as well. So some big things that are continuing to take place. And that is also why we're talking about the Theta application, um, really the Theta awarded patent application approval for USPTO. We're not going to deep dive into what that means, but it's decentralized DRM via NFTs. And if you guys want to jump into it a little bit more, definitely click on this Medium post. I'll definitely, uh, you know, like this tweet specifically so you guys can jump on my Twitter and go to my likes and you know take advantage of it if you want to but you know there's a lot of great information that really kind of explains what this really means for theta so like I said if you guys want to take a look at that in more detail definitely do so um, you know it's one of those things guys if if you're trying to invest into a new crypto or really any investment in all you should always do your own research before investing as uh, you know I'm not a financial advisor. None of us here on YouTube really are. So make sure to do that yourself. We also see NFTs are not just digital collectibles. Theta Network's newest U.S. patent leverages NFT for digital right management, paving the way for streaming licensed video content over decentralized networks. So that's exactly what we're seeing yet again. It's continued really support for the Theta Network, continued big things taking place. And I think, you know, the price doesn't always correlate with bullish news taking place. We've talked about that before. VeChain, obviously, another coin has big bullish news continuing to take place almost every single day um, the price is just not correlating with that and I think that's a big thing to really understand when the market's downturn is continuing on when we continue to see that manipulation or FUD take place understand that during the accumulation phase you're not going to see some of these altcoins do very very well even if the actual coin themselves are making big things happen and big news is continuing to come forward do remember though when we get out of this manipulation FUD or accumulation stage it's going to be about the coins that have done the best job at continuing to do well continuing to do big things so make sure to keep an eye on that um, obviously a lot of updates every single day for Theta Network and you know Theta Drop as well as so much involving Theta and T Fuel so if I do want to kind of jump into this real quick so if you guys haven't already taken advantage of BlockFi definitely do so I will have my uh, my specific link in the comment section pinned down below uh, you can take advantage of my link and actually get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin when you sign up. So definitely take advantage of this, guys. It's basically being smart about your money, putting your money to work for you. And it talks about the future of finance. So the old way of doing things doesn't cut it anymore. With BlockFi, you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest at up to 8.6% APY, borrow cash, buy or sell crypto. There are no hidden fees, no minimum balances, and no reason to wait. So they actually ditched their annual fee as well. So you can check out their new credit card perks and join the waitlist today. Uh, so that's just a quick sponsored post there. I did want to talk about a couple more things related to Theta, obviously, before we talk about price predictions going into June, July, and 2021. I also want to say, guys, remember that um, you know we do have a giveaway going on right now. So if I go over to my profile, I do have a giveaway going on for 
two different 1K giveaways, actually. If we go down here, we can see that. I will be giving away 1K worth of jacks and 1K worth of same coin. Two lucky winners. Make sure to follow me so I can DM you if you win and retweet to be entered. So this ends July 10th, 2021. If you guys want to be entered, make sure to jump into the description of this video. Follow me on Twitter and retweet this tweet. We only have about 600 people entered right now, so you guys have a great opportunity to jump in and take advantage. I do want to jump back to Theta, though, and, you know, like I said, there's still more to talk about. This this Theta main, mainnet 3.0 release is introducing a lot of new things, a lot of big things, really. So the first thing we're going to see here is we are pleased to announce that Guardian Node V3.0.2 release for Theta mainnet 3.0. This release will really perform a hard fork at block height. Uh, I'm not going to try to even read that, but approximately 12 p.m. Wednesday, June 30th, 2021 PT. See here for more details, obviously, on required node upgrades. So this is definitely a big deal. We're continuing to see, like I said, more developments as we get closer to Theta Mainnet 3.0. If we actually go to the website now, thetanetwork.org, which I definitely suggest everybody do to do so, we do see, you know, five days, six hours to that Mainnet 3.0, introducing T-Fuel staking and uptime mining. So there's a lot of potential behind this really upgrade and this, uh, you know, really mainnet release. So I won't deep dive into their, you know, into all of their website today because we've talked about it so much before. The big thing to know is their enterprise validator notes. They continue to add, you know, add big names to this. And we already saw this list with huge names. So it's crazy to continue to get some big powerhouses, uh, including obviously Google, Sunny, Samsung, CAA, Binance, Blockchain, Gumi, and Private Equity Institutional Group as well. So just a lot of great companies and a lot of, you know, large companies that could do big things. One thing to take a look at as well is thetaboard.ai, or sorry, thetaboard.io. They actually have T-Fuel staking going on currently there. If you guys want to test it out, you can try it out. Obviously, it's a great application, thetaboard.io. Uh, I do want to go back to Theta now and talk about really where we're going to see Theta and T-Fuel in the upcoming weeks and months ahead. So I do think we're going to continue on this downward spin just for a little longer. Uh, we've talked about really the month of June just being a struggle, and I think that's going to continue on for the next five days. Unfortunately, that is during the mainnet 3.0 release. So we're not going to probably see that you know massive rise in price that we were all hoping for. I think Theta, realistically, by the end of the month, though, still does go positive from the $6.80 range. I think we see about a $10 theta by the end of June if things don't go too poorly. If we see, you know, Bitcoin go below 28k, 25k, we could see theta continue to drop below $6, but realistically, I think Theta is one of those coins that is going to bounce back fairly well just because we do have that mainnet 3.0 release that everybody is hyped about. So I do expect Theta to be pushing close to $10 by the end of June if things kind of recover here in the next couple of days. We do want to take a look at T-Fuel as well. Obviously a coin that a lot of people are excited about just because of the ease of staking that it comes to uh, with T-Fuel as well as just the market cap being at $2.3 billion, the volume being so low as well. Just a great opportunity to get in at a low price as well at $0.44. Cents. Uh, and because of that I think you know we are going to see a lot of people jumping back in and we saw some massive increases all the way to 68 cents this month alone and I think we could easily see us getting you know closer to about a 70 to 80 maybe 90 cents um, we're going to go with about a 65 to 75 cent range for sure by the end of June if things like I said do recover in a good way uh, you know a lot of people are worried about this market continuing to suffer all the way up until at least September I think that's a great you really a month to consider um, you know, altcoins at a recovery stage. I think by the end of September, we should start to see a lot of coins uh, really start to push back. And I think, you know, by the end of July, we may see a little bit of resistance now. But uh, until the end of July, you know, June is still going to be, like I said, a very, very rough month for so many altcoins out there. So I did just want to give you guys a quick Theta and T-Fuel update. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have not already, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.